Holy crap, this guy's killing it! Dang, Kevin! You killing the game? Oh wait, he's level 1000. Oh crap. Hello, welcome back. And welcome back to DTS. Uh, and, um, yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. So I cannot believe I haven't, like, played this enough. I am really mad that I haven't. Because, like, I've been so worked up with school and, like, my stress levels are too high. I have ups and downs and all that. And, oh my god, I'm, I love giving excuses when I shouldn't be giving too many excuses because the world is, like, not good or something. I don't even know anymore. I think I'll, I, I'm for sure gonna, like, film again when the Delta update arrives. I decided because December this is the last month of 2019 oh that we should talk about 2019 overall while playing Defend the Statue because I think that's appropriate. Are you sure about that? Before I get started on talking about like how 2019 was oh my god can you not thank you get me at the head hey over here you I took a few days off Discord. I really needed that to be honest. Like, I don't regret taking a, like, not looking at Discord because I just needed that break from Discord. I just want to let go of everything, like, have time to myself and to real life. And um, I just it just felt great. Um, I'll get back on Discord like um soon, but I haven't opened it, so I don't know what. Ha what has been happening since I was pretty much a uh, gun? I am gonna die. Okay, we got him. I was inspired by like a Dolan's twin video I saw of them like talking about how they got created a burnout and they really shut everything off for like a week. And that really like inspired me to like change the way, so I decided to shut Discord off for like a week and have time to myself and all. I have like a mini list on my phone I made today on like what I wanted to talk about so that I don't get lost or so oh my god this it goes near bus oh it's those idiots who burn people okay I love that um so uh first of all um before we get on to memories and all that of course because obviously I'm gonna talk about that frick um how was 2019 overall but before that let's talk about YouTube Rewind 20 2019. Oh my god, I have so much to say. Like, I know YouTube was trying to redeem itself because 2018 was like, uh, nobody liked it. Um, and I just felt like it was lazily, it was lazily put. Like, it's like a watch mojo. And watch mojo fixed it. So I think, to be honest, watch mojo is way better at doing the, the list. So. Because YouTube here missed out like the important part. Like, it should be dedicated to Edoka. Like, he took his own life in the summer somewhere, and like a lot of people were devastated because he's like, okay, he has charisma. He, his his reactions were hilarious. I don't watch him, but like I have heard about him. I saw him like a, I saw like a gameplay of him doing Delta Rune and all that somewhere. I forgot where, but like. But sure, I did watch one video of him playing Delta Rune. I did praise, however, that PewDiePie and Mr. Beast was on there because those were two important people. Also, I recognize like other people that like people are like, oh, who the heck are these? I recognize Azzyland, uh, she's a Canadian YouTuber, and I also recognize like the YouTube was giving a list of like you made these creators like break out. Oh crap! Um, and one of them I recognized was Janelle. She's the 21 year old who was a fan with her snake, and that's the only one of them I recognize. And I watched only. I only watched Janelle on YouTube's react, so that's why I, I know. I watch, like, FPE, so that's why I, like, recognize a lot of, like, YouTubers and their faces and all that, even though I, like, don't watch their content. I just, like, know what they look like. So, did I like this year's YouTube rewind? Well. Not really, because it was lazily put. YouTube better step up their game for 2020 rewind. So, how was 2019 overall? 
Oh my god, that was so crazy. Like, there were good things that happened there, but like, not so good things that happened. Like, drama in the beauty community. And then, like, the fact that PewDiePie got married. And then, Mr. the beast while they got 20 million trees to save the earth. And then, like, uh, Keithcraft will be going to. Why is your name DC? The doc with like the government for FTC to discuss about the potential features future of YouTube because of copper and all that. Oh my god, everyone was freaking out about freaking out about that. So I understand. I freaked out too. Because is YouTube now becoming commercial and all that? Oh here's the thing that's like not really related to anything. Um I've been recently getting to getting into SMG4 videos and that's something that I really like. I am a sucker for all things Nintendo and all of that. Like I like Legend of Zelda, I like Super Smash Bros, I like Pokemon, and I'm such a big nerd for those. Um and uh, I want to uh, watch more the G4 videos because they're super funny and sometimes a little cringe but like I love funny stuff like funny vids and all that and all the jokes and memes I know I'm a little bit of memes I know. all that uh, okay oh frick I'm lagging the bad lag alright and then uh, right. Instead, oh, let's talk about other things that happened. I got my first job, so that's exciting. Get to explore uh, <laughs> life experience a bit. And then <clears throat> that's all. I guess about the how 2019 was. I know it's all over the place. I just like no idea what I'm talking about. At least I have like a list written down. Let's talk about some 2019 memories. Um, one of my all-time favorite memories of 2019 was seeing the Try Guys show. Um, book recap. Try Guys are YouTubers. Um, they have a very successful channel and all that. And I have watched it for two years and. I went to their show and it was so, so much fun and it was so hilarious and I, it's like something that I will remember for the wet rest of my life. Like, are you kidding me? Like, oh my god. I remember like the closest I've got to one of them was when Eugene ran up to the second floor and um, gave people high fives and I think that's the closest to Eugene I've ever been like he didn't come up to me specifically he came up to I was in the middle section and like he came up to the like my left section of the balcony like of the the second floor balcony and he gave people high five that's the closest to Eugene that I've ever been I wish I had footage of that but like it was happening quickly. Literally, no one here being like cares about helping me out with Noob Captain because I am struggling really bad on that dude. But um, one of my other favorite memories of 2019 was um, literally meeting Pro ZD up close at an anime convention I went to, and this is the first time that I've ever been up close to. A YouTuber um, for like many years. Like I like Pro ZD. Like he's so hilarious, and like he in real life, he was really nice. Like, oh, it's these tank get dudes. I love them. Actually, I really don't. Know. They just go really fast, and the health are really high. I also don't like them. Um, so, uh, yeah, seeing Pro ZD up in person, I also have a photo of him and me in my, uh, in my room. I framed it, just because I want to, like, look back and see 
like that was so epic to to like see pro ZD in person. All right, I bought the master sword. I'm ready to go. I've been save. I've been saving up for this. Um, where was I? Okay. Um, I forgot where I was. I right now. Okay. Wait. Hang on a sec. Let me get this one. My other favorite memory is when I was volunteering at Rede, a youth event that happen also happens in the U.S. and U.K. So I'm sure this was a Rede for you in the U.S. if you like um, live in the U.S. Oh no, these dudes. Um, and one of the guest performers, I did not see this coming. One of the guest performers was season 12 America's Got Talent winner. Rick. Joyce C. Lynn! Holy cow! Like, I was fangirling when they were announcing, like, her. Like, I did not expect, because I think she was not going on tour at that time. Like, I did not expect to, like, stop by in Canada and, like, perform for us as a guest. Like, she was, uh, so talented. Uh, just, just, uh, just so you guys don't know. Um, in case you don't know, um, she's a. 15 year old ventriloquist super talented for someone at that age and to be honest I already um, like seen her first audition and I was mind boggled of how talented she was at that age seeing her perform like live is so much better than seeing her perform on like online or at the television because um you get to experience all that jazz and I admire Darcy so much because she's an inspiration of like if I can do it, you can do it too, no matter how old you are. And I think it's like super inspirational. I never knew what like this moves has. Like I've already seen the controllers really quick, let's see. Oh I could dodge and all that, okay. Uh, what about the spin? This is, I know this is spin attack. Nope, that's a. Okay, no, I don't know what that's like. Wait, wait, let me see. I know. Okay, that's dodge. Okay, okay, Q and E. Okay, cool. Now I know how to use the master sword whatsoever. I just need a little more practice. Um. Frick. Ah, yeah. This is not good. Um. Frick! 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 Frick, I think this was a mistake. I should have not. Ah, frick. 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 I'm gonna make this quick because I'm literally like suffering in wave 33 right now. So, um, my final memory was this. I literally did not expect this to happen. Roblox featured me and I was super shocked. It was in March 2019, I think. Like, that's when it happened, and I was mind boggled, and um, I don't know what to say. Like, thank you, Roblox, for featuring my work. It means so much to me, and I say this it sounds so corny, I know, but when I first saw it, I was like, holy crap, this is so weird, and um, I so people who get featured are like, oh my god, this is so awesome, like I feel so like, honored, thank you so much, I'm here like, holy crap, this actually happened, what the heck is happening, am I dreaming, like, am I going crazy, <laughs> I know, all that jazz, <laughs> like I am so proud of like, people I admire who get featured by Roblox, and then when this happened, I'm like, Oh my god, I think in my, I'm in the shoes now of like how they felt and all that. That I know. I cannot imagine like how exciting it would be to be featured by Roblox and uh, I know I'm like, being arrogant, but no, I'm not bragging in any way. I'm just like uh, sharing my experiences and all because everyone's experience is different. So what are my goals for 2020? Well, that all related to, to like um, real life, but for sure, I'd like to finish up school. I know that I'm gonna be graduating in 2020, so that's a little bit nerve-wracking. 
Uh, I also would like to sell like art, um, like original art, and also this is something that I it's been personal, but I'd like to question more about who am I as a person and like and all that jazz, and I wanna also do more cosplay because I've been getting into that recently. Okay, that's all for today. Um, I feel I hear like uh, a garage door, and I need to stop. Thank you for watching.